one of the most consistent questions we get is when are you guys going to have the Hovert available? The Hovert was a product that we were intending to design along with G-Code, a partnership with G-Code, that would allow for the horizontal mounting of the M3T medical pouch on normal pals. So instead of having to mount it long ways with long malice clips, you'd be able to mount it horizontally, such as you see here on the back of this belt. The bad news first, Hovert's not going to happen. Main reason being that while the design was solid, uh, after testing it and, and evaluating with other people, we realized that it was not going to be a product that was going to lend itself well to Kydex, which is how we were primarily looking at manufacturing it, because we were seeing a relatively sharp batch. We didn't really see the market for it to justify going into what would be a better solution, which was injection molded. So that went away. We went back to a drawing board and started looking first at the market to see, was there already something better or just as good uh, to fit that bill? And today I've got two different solutions for you guys that are looking to mount it horizontal. Uh, the first is going to be simply sharp malice clips, or if you're very lucky, the new high-speed gear, high-speed clips. All you're going to do is take through the two-inch belt, the what I call the vertical belt pass-through, here in the back. Run your two clips through, run that through your pals and back over, and now you have it mounted. That's exactly how I have it mounted here on this belt. It's just ran through, through things of pals. It works very well on a belt like this because it, it, it kind of doesn't pull from the end because if it pulled from the end sections, you'd have this big flat space in the back that could be uh, a little bit more painful. This flexes and gives. I've run this through probably at least 10 different classes. This is uh, the newer high speed gear sure grip padded belt, the slim version, the slim grip. And right here I'm using some of the belt mounted tacos as well as the traditional uh, pistol tacos. But I have it mounted on here, it worked great, it works great. This is, this is how I prefer to mount it on belts. When it comes to vests or plate carriers or, or, or things like that, what I found that works well is a lot of guys want to mount it in the back. Now I don't have pals on the back of this obviously, but a lot of guys like to mount it on the back so that they can grab it with either hand. That's a great idea, you could certainly do that. But what I found that works best, being a police officer, being in vehicles a lot, that's obviously something that's you know pushing on your back from the seat and it could just not be quite as comfortable. So what I did was move it to the front utilizing these Quasim buckles. I've got, I got mine through SKD Tactical. Uh, just Google Quasim, Q-A-S-M buckles. These thread on to the PALs and then these, the male end of the side release has a, a little kind of hook that just goes through your, you squeeze it in and it, it catches on that tab or that, uh, I'm sorry, that cross section of PALS and it's locked in there. The other benefit is I could pop it off. So if I need to take this and give it to someone or I change it out for a different setup kit or whatever I'm going to do, I could do that and this just stays here. Uh, the other benefit is while sitting or, or doing anything else, it just comes up out of the way. It's kind of like a little, what I call a papoose pouch. Uh, but it, 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 this has really worked well. Um, side note, running, it doesn't, you know, doesn't bounce into balls the whole time. So, of course, depending on your body style and if you're wearing your vest properly or not. But for most guys, it's going to run right on the waistline. So you, that's not something you have to worry about. That's going to be two options. The Quasim buckles or just using the Shark high-speed gear clips in it. That's going to solve the problem. Uh, again, unless we see uh, a solution that is going to far exceed something that's already on the market, I don't believe in putting out a gadget just to have a gadget on the market. I'd much rather let the guys who have already put into work and come out with something positive, you know, get that recognition and, and help them get some sales and help you know partner with companies to solve a problem instead of trying to come up with something that's you know 20% different than they did just to, to put our name on it. So Quasim Buckles at SKD Tactical and of course your high speed gear clips or high speed clips from high speed gear. That's gonna help you mount it horizontally. Everything else you should be able to do how it's applied. If you got any questions, you could of course hit us up on our Facebook page at Nolatac. And as always, guys, be vigilant, be prepared. Y'all stay safe.